So I was intending to do a Da Vinci Resolve thing, but I cannot get it to work on this Mac Mini. So I'm starting to think that maybe, just maybe, the Mac Mini is the problem and that the graphics are just not good enough. So I will carry on with my little review of, uh, of this new Linux distribution that I've been recommended, which is Manjaro. I've not used Manjaro before, I'll be honest. Um, so this is a new experience for me as well. So we'll have a, a dive into it and, and see what it's like. So uh, let's get into it without any further ado. You guys are phenomenal. The fact that I've got coming up 430, 440 subscribers, it's just blown me away. So thank you so much. And please keep coming back because I, I appreciate it and I enjoy doing this. And the fact that I'm doing this for you guys, it's, it's just, thank you. So let, let's get into this. So I've got Manjaro on my desktop, as you can probably see. Um, so this is based on KDE Plasma, which I quite like, I'll be honest. I, I prefer KDE Plasma to, to GNOME. And this is running on Wayland. Now, I have tried running DaVinci Resolve through x11 that didn't work either so like i said before I, I believe it is all down to the crummy hardware mac mini of 2008 2009 just doesn't cut it so uh, i'm going to abandon that project for now until i find a machine that is more capable of running that piece of software so let's have a quick look at this and, and see what we think of it so we've got I believe this is Dolphin. Yeah, there we go. So Dolphin is the main explorer, window explorer. It feels quite slappy on here, I have to be honest. So that this is literally what happens. It will doing, 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 and then just die. So we're, we're going to give that up as a, a bad idea for now. Ooh. Anyway, so what have we got on here? Firefox, as always. So while, as you guys know, I don't particularly like Firefox. So let's have a look at YouTube. Quick look. System dark mode, by the way. Need that. Yeah, four, three, four. You legends. Thank you. Audio works straight out the bat, which is nice. Four eighty P. Okay, that's fairly smooth. Not bad. So we'll get rid of that. So what else have we got? So let's have a quick look at our settings. System settings. System D. System D always makes me shudder. I don't know what it is about it, but it just makes me go, Yee. you know? So there we go. There's our... Uh, Manjaro. So moving swiftly along, what else have we got on here? So has it just died on me? Looks like it has. Just froze. I think that SSD is a bit dodgy. Not going too well today. Been a funny couple of days, if uh, if I'm completely honest with you. Let it boot up. I suppose we should let it. So let's log back into X11. Seems to have less problems on it on X11. 
again, I, I'm pretty sure that's because the hardware is just pretty crummy. I say it a lot. Happens to be true. Right, let's get logged in. So where was we? So we was having a look at what's on here. So we got Office. We got... Interestingly, it told me that LibreOffice was um, installed, but that doesn't look like LibreOffice to me. So we'll forget about that. We should have Audacity. And this should run with no problems. Never really gives me any issues. He says, there we go. 241, that's very old. That's very, very old. Check for updates. Yeah, look, see, we're on 3.1 now. But, yeah. You know, if it works, it works. Which I'm sure it will. Uh, we've got GIMP, of course. There's a little bit of childish in me that wants to laugh every time I say that but not going to. So that's 2.10, that's the latest, I know that one. And of course we've got VLC Media Player. And you know, there was one other thing that I forgot to, to try and install, which we'll just do now. So let's launch OBS. Not gonna be streaming. Don't do streaming, just recording. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is all because of the graphics in this Mac Mini is just absolutely atrocious. So anything graphical-wise, including this, this is going to say that it can only do 480p, which is just, you know, absolutely rubbish. But, um, let's close that. And that's pretty much it, to be honest with you. I like that it's got lost and found there. Yeah, you just don't want to run, do you? I will continue my search for a Linux that will run OBS, uh, not OBS, um, DaVinci Resolve. And once I find it, I'm going to give it a proper test. Because that, that's the, the difference between staying on Windows and, and moving to an open source software. Uh, operating system. Now, I would prefer a FreeBSD based one, but it doesn't run on that either. So, you know, the fact that it actually installs on a Linux for me is, is a step forward. It's just a matter of uh, moving forward with that. Okay, so we'll leave it there for now and we'll continue our search for a, an open source operating system that runs DaVinci Resolve on this Mac Mini. I might have to try some older DaVinci Resolve software or an older Linux. You know, so be it. Um, we'll give it a go and see what happens. But for now, guys, again, thank you so much for, for subscribing and, and liking my content. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to, to like and, and, uh, and subscribe while you're here. Definitely like this one. Click the notification bell. That will tell you when I release videos. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.